Ah. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we will be looking at the fifth of six Burdock beers that were picked up for me. So thank you very much, Greg, for picking this up. This is, as I said, number five of six. So I've had their apricot and, well, their peach and apricot Berliner Weiss, which I loved. I had their West Coast Pilsner, which I was a big fan of. I had their Bluer Light Lager, which, you know, I could drink. I just didn't really care for it. It was it was meh. And then I had the, uh, for me at least, it was meh. Then I had their American Wheat Ale. Didn't really like it. I, I could drink it if I had to, but I didn't like it. So let's jump into this one. This is their Fresh Hop Pale Ale. And it was bottled in October. Today is November 3rd, so it's not that old. So we're still in a good point to get getting on, well, to get on this. Yeah, this is 6.4% ABV. There's nothing really to show. It's just a little uh, little sticker. Basically like an address sticker is what that is. It's kind of like an address uh, sticker that you could get made up by like the Easter Seals and stuff. It, it actually is all you need though. You know what type of beer it is. You know who made it. You know the ABV. You know the uh, size. And you know when it was bottled. And that's huge. I love that they do bottled dates instead of uh, instead of best before. It was bottled in October. Good. I'll buy it. I'll drink it. I'll enjoy it. Somebody opening my gate? Hmm. Um. Anyhow. Anyhow. Uh, all I'll have left after this is their Dark Saison, which I'm a little intrigued on as well. But let's get into this guy, shall we? Shall we? A little bit of water in there. No more. No more. Drinking out of the cupboard bridge glass. So what I'm seeing here is that if you are at an establishment that's going to be selling you covered bridge beers in a covered bridge branded glass and they say you're getting a pint, you better have absolutely no head because if you have any head on your pint for the most part, you're not getting a pint of beer. Because I still have some in here. Let's get it in and see where we're at. Still some in here. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting a pint. Sorry, guys. You're not going to get a pint. And there we go. Bang. So... A pint just fits. Just. So, I can't, I don't even think I can pick this up, so I just gonna sit on the table. But, um, <laughs> slight haze, nice golden color. I wouldn't even say gold, I think it's more like a bronze color. The head is white, it's fluffy, it's creamy. Smell. Oh. Intriguing, uh, very sweet smelling. Um, almost like almost like there's cloves and uh, black pepper in there. Cloves, black pepper, and a touch of onion. Oh, oh, what what fucking hop is it? There's a hop that gives off like an onion scent. I can't, uh, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I think that's in here. Yeah, I'm getting like cloves, black pepper, onion. And a touch of peach. Oh, this actually smells really, really well. I don't know what hop that... 
there are hops that will give off like a uh, this is the thing with hops now there's so many varieties that you can get so many different scents off of them there are some that get off, give off like a garlic scent some that give off an onion scent some that give off a uh, peppery scent and I'm getting a lot of these like uh, newer age hops on the nose on this I don't even know what's in it I've done absolutely no research about burdock other than knowing that they're fairly new so let's uh, try the beer cheers Intriguing. Medium mouthfeel. A little hefty. It is a uh, 6.4% alcohol, but it's heftier even than their uh, than their wheat beer was. Taste. Really hard to pinpoint. Really hard to pinpoint. There's almost a Bazooka Joe bubblegum taste in there. Just that really sweet bubblegum taste. And then there's a bit of a peppery, almost coriander-like dryness. So I'm getting like a peppery coriander flavor. Uh, like Bazooka Joe bubblegum. Excuse me, a slight hoppy finish. And when I say slight hoppy finish, I mean slight resiny hoppy finish. So that oily hoppiness, which is uh, what I'd expect from a fresh hop IPA. To get that resiny oiliness off of the off of the off of the flowers because you're putting in whole flowers. Um Yeah. Strange, it reminds me. It's a fresh hop pale ale, but it reminds me kind of like a, uh, almost like a Belgian golden is what I'm getting off of it. Like the, uh, the hops are giving me a very Belgian-esque taste. I'm getting that, again, that sweet bubblegum flavor. I'm getting that, uh, coriander-like uh, pepperiness. Well, pepper and coriander, like the coriander dryness and the and the pepper little zip, and a little bit of a little bit of oily resininess. But instead of being pine, I think it's more like a, a English dirty like fi finish on the back of the palate. It's just surrounding the very back of the tongue. All in all, this is intriguing. It's intriguing because I've never had a wet hot pale ale that tastes like this one does. Um, I actually. <laughs> I don't think I love it, but I like it. I like it. So uh, I've now had five of their beers. I would give three of them thumbs up, and I'd give two of them uh, thumbs. I'd give three thumbs up, one thumb like this, and one thumb almost down, like just starting to go down. So actually, of the five beers I've had, that gives these guys a great rating overall. I mean, um, four of the five I've had, I'm actually liking enough that I could talk about them in a positive way and one of them I couldn't and that's perfectly fine not everybody's gonna have all hits for everybody and that's just the way it is and that's the fun thing about beer I really like this beer though I'd give it a 7 out of 10 it's 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 not something I could drink all the time because it's just so strange to me but at the same time it's so well made and it mixes such in such a pleasant way it's actually fairly balanced from uh from like sweet, dry, and bitter. It actually it actually mingles fairly well and it it's like a roller coaster, you know? You're going up, you're straight, you plummet. And I like that about it. I like that it is complex. I like that it moves from one flavor to another. I like that it moves from one sensation to another. And I just I like the beer. I like the beer, okay? Fuck you.
I like the fucking beer. Bye, guys.